the auto portrait function of FC3 is super convenient. Great for beginners who are not totally sure what settings to use, but also great just to get something going quickly. For example, we have four different types of portraits here, sort of. It's really three, but we have four. We have a full length, we have a three quarter, and we have sort of a half portrait. This one's here for a demonstration we'll show you in a second. So let's start here with the three quarter, which is fairly common. Now the way it works is it does face detection. So it knows the size of the face, and then it can make a calculation based on the type of portrait that you have on what is probably a good frequency separation setting. Now you can choose between the three blurring operators that everyone likes. I'm gonna stick with median and leave it on normal, which is kind of like what I consider to be a good average, okay? So I hit play and immediately does a face detection function. And then once it does its calculation, it'll set up frequency separation. In this case, we see that it shows an eight pixel radius. Now, just like manual, Auto portrait is also flexible, dynamic. We can reprocess. So we do some work on it, like we work on the transitions layers and we go, mm, you know what? I don't like this. Let's go to tight. We can go to tight and hit play. It'll, you know, scan the, for the face again and then it'll reprocess something that's a little bit tighter of a texture. In this case, it shows a five. So if we got a five pixel radius on tight for a three quarter. What do you think we're going to get on a full length? Well, let's take a look. We're there now, medium tight, hit play. Once again, FC3 will scan for the face and then calculate, and we end up with a three. See, a little bit less of a radius, knowing that the face is a little bit smaller on frame, meaning that you don't have as many pixels to give as it were. So we don't want to have too high of a radius. How about a half portrait? We'll leave it medium tight, hit play, let that process. And we see it shows a six, which all this makes sense. Now, a couple of things. What about a shot like this? Okay, the face is pretty obscured. So what do you think is going to happen? If I hit play, it comes back with a warning, no face detected, use manual mode. But here's a quick tip for you. On this shot, which is of course very similar, it ended up picking a six. So we come here and go, oh, I want the same setting for whatever reason. You go to manual, median, choose six and hit play. And of course you can kind of keep that going. So FC3's face detection allows for this automated type of process. And if you're asking where we got the calculations from, it comes from my own workflow of well over a decade of frequency separation use. Uh, so I determined some basic calculations that I think would work. And again, it's very, very useful for beginners who are not sure what settings to use. It's also a great way to learn, but at the same time, I've been going to auto portrait more often than not, unless I specifically need to, you know, set things up in a specific way. So check that out, FC3 Auto Portrait with the face detection.